Hey, PV, Sammy here with the Missionary Update. This morning, we have the privilege of hearing from a couple that has been a part of our missionary family for many years. In fact, they were a part of this church, served here, and walked with Jesus with us. They are David and Tina Rosenau, and they serve at Oak Forest Retreat Conference Center in Frederick, Wisconsin. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Great. Good morning, PV. So, David and Tina, let's talk about your connection with PV. Like, but we're, before we do that, uh, where are you from originally, and how did you end up in uh, in Winona and at Pleasant Valley Church? Well, I'm originally from New York State, and uh, David and I met in college in Pennsylvania, and then he is from this area, so we moved out to this area, um, well, out to mm -hmm. Winona area in 2013 to be closer to his family. Uh, his dad was aging, and so we wanted um, to do that. Uh, we were originally in church ministry, but while we were attending Pleasant Valley, we um, were not in full-time ministry. Uh, we took that those couple of years just as a time of healing because we had burnt out at our previous ministry, and so God really used Pleasant Valley in our lives just to really heal us spiritually and bring us to the next um, the next step in life. Yeah, and I'm originally Sweet. from the Cross area. Oh, really? So moved away um, right after high school and hadn't been back since. Haven't lived in the area since uh, since we moved back in 2013. Uh, but yeah, we, we, my family is mostly around that area. So again, mm -hmm. we were long ways away on the on the East Coast, and it's just nice to be back. Mm -hmm. with family help with my dad when we could. Um, mm -hmm. and, be a part of the church, which is perfect Sweet. time for us to, to get back into that again. Excellent. Actually, I went to UW La Crosse, so I oh, lived okay. in La Crosse. Yeah, I lived in La Crosse for like 12 years and went to college there and everything. So, yeah, La Crosse, all La Crosse. Um, <clears throat> and you have kids. Uh, how old are your kids now? Well, we've got four kids. Uh, two of them are in college. One's a senior mm -hmm. and the other oh, wow. one's a junior. And uh, so that's they're, they're in uh, Michigan, Cornerstone University. Um, so that's exciting. We also have two in high school, uh, mm -hmm. junior and also a freshman. So, yeah, three Excellent. girls, the last one's a boy. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, wow, they're, they're getting big. They, they, it goes fast, right? It yeah. does. Yeah. How did you uh, like how, how, how was that transition from being at in Winona, Pleasant Valley? and then um, transitioning into Oak Forest uh, Conference Center. Like, how, how did that happen? How was that calling? How, how did that happen? Well, for me, um, like I said, when we came back to Winona, there was a, just a time to uh, just attend church, be a part of it, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of work. God was working on our hearts. Um, and uh, again, it was uh, sitting under the ministry of Pastor Brandon and Chad. With at that time, he was he was with the music, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there there was actually a song that he used to sing, or that we all used to sing. He'd lead us, and um, it's it was uh, God's got a plan for you. You know, um, it's going to be great. It's going to be wild. Um, so that oh, really spoke yeah. to me. Um, can't remember the name of the song off the top of my head, but mm -hmm. uh, it it was uh, again it, just get back in the game. And then I was reading, you know, what we've read a hundred times in uh, about Adam and Eve, and when they sinned, they hid, and they hid from God. When He came down to walk with them in the garden, and He was asking the question, He's like, you know, where are you? And he wasn't asking because he didn't know. More of a, hey, Adam, as you are, to get you about where you are. And so that to me is like, okay, where am I? And am I, am I hiding? Am I done with ministry yet? Um, so that was a real turning point uh, for me, being at Pleasant Valley and, mm -hmm. and uh, just you know, being around the ministry there, soaking that in. So, yeah, for for me, um, like I said, we were it was a time of healing. Uh, we were, I would say, probably wounded at our last ministry, and um, we didn't want to become bitter. 
And so God really used uh, Pleasant Valley to um, just help us to navigate all of that. And so while we were there, um, some doors had opened up at Oak Forest. And one was a facility maintenance position and the other was guest services. And that mm -hmm. is a really good fit for both of our um, gift mixes. And, mm -hmm. but at first we were not um, willing because you had to raise your own support. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty scary. Um, yeah, that's hard. So we, we kind of dug our feet into the ground. I was like, no, we're not really, we don't really want to do this. But God just worked mm -hmm. on our hearts and use Pleasant Valley to just um, push us forward and take that step of faith because it mm -hmm. was it was a huge step of faith to know that um, we had to 100% trust in God for our paycheck each month. And mm -hmm. since we had just moved to the area only two years before, we knew that it would be really hard for our kids to have to move again. Right. Um, but God just laid upon our hearts that he knows the needs of our kids better than we do, and um, we need to trust him that he will take care of their needs, and he will take mm -hmm. care of our needs. Mm -hmm. And we just took that leap of faith and ended up here and have no regrets at all whatsoever. Awesome. That is, that is su such a great story and how, how the Lord just made a way for you guys and made it clear. Um, a lot of people don't know about what Oak Forest do and what, what happens or what for, Oak Forest does and what happens there, um, what kind of ministry um, you guys do. So you're just going to give us a, a kind of an overview of the of the um, of the conference center, of the retreat center and uh, and and what you do specifically a little bit. Okay. Well, let me just read the mission, our mission statement at Oak Forest Center, and mm -hmm. it might uh, help a little bit. The mission of Oak Forest Retreat and Conference is to draw people into a deeper, more personal relationship with Jesus Christ mm -hmm. based on the absolute truth of God's Word by providing an excellent re retreat center in a peaceful environment. So mm -hmm. what we do here is very pretty simple. Uh, we don't run the programs. We don't just uh, uh, tell the retreat groups, the church groups that come in, you know, how to do whatever they do. Uh, what we do is provide an excellent facility for them to host the retreat. Um, Absolutely. Provide, uh, excellent meals and accommodation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we just support. Uh, the groups that come in. So we do mm -hmm. a lot with uh, the leadership and take away distractions for, from them. They don't need to worry about the little details. We'll take mm -hmm. care of that. You just focus on the purpose of your retreat and what you're trying to accomplish with the congregation or the attenders or whatever. So that is, it's a simple model and um, mm -hmm. that that is that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, groups that come in that are not spiritually of a spiritual mindset. Um, so we do have church groups, youth groups, women's and men's groups that come from churches, inner varsity mm -hmm. navigators, those kind of things. So they have a, a spiritual um, goal in mind. But then mm -hmm. we do also have groups such as quilters and scrapbookers. And yeah. they, of course, um, don't have a spiritual program um, unless they're coming with a church and gotcha. so in those instances we tell them that we will offer um, devotions with them each day and that's mm -hmm. part of our ministry then when we get an opportunity to share God's love with them and the gospel message and just to be the hands and feet of Jesus in them and um, pray for them we have a lot of women that and men that just need a lot of prayer and it gives us that opportunity mm -hmm. And then one other ministry that we both really, really like is we offer quiet retreats for mm -hmm. free for anyone in full-time ministry. Um, that includes you, Sammy. <laughs> so, awesome. <laughs> um, we, we love to be able to provide that for those in full-time ministry because mm -hmm. we fully understand what it's like to burn out and to give them an opportunity to come and just spend one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord and prayer um, just, just to be able to refresh and get back mm -hmm. in the game ready ready to go and that's been 
Um, that's been a huge blessing. We've really seen mm-hmm. a lot of actors come in tired and weary and leave mm-hmm. refreshed and ready, ready to go again. So that is such an amazing ministry that you guys provide. I need to take that, uh, take advantage of that with my family at some point. And um, yeah, and and we love at PV uh, going on retreats to to your uh, place, and we've had just amazing times with the Lord and refreshing. And so you guys do an amazing job. I hope we can come back uh, soon. And um, you know, pre COVID, we were able to do it more, but now that things are lifting more, and so um, yeah, we'll love to be able to come back. We always enjoyed being there for sure. Um, and what are some of the, um, what are some of the biggest challenges that you guys face, um, in the work there that, that you do there? What are some of the, like the hardest things? I think when we're in the busy season, the hardest thing is, um, navigating your your time because we're a small staff uh, by design. Um, mm-hmm. We wear multiple hats. So while at some time I will be plowing snow, um, mm-hmm. in, a, in 15 minutes I got to run to the kitchen and start making waffles. Oh, wow. So mm-hmm. that, is, it, that is enjoyable because you're not focusing on one thing. In, mm-hmm. um, in, in my area, if, if, if it's building maintenance or whatever, you could isolate yourself from the groups. And not yeah. and not find yourself interacting, but mm-hmm. I appreciate the variety so that I do rub shoulders with people and I can talk with people at mm-hmm. the same time, you know, helping the place to run as smooth as it can. Uh, so that's probably the challenge for me managing mm-hmm. time well. Yeah, uh, it, it is. It's all good. That the work mm-hmm. is. Um, it's enjoyable because you really believe that you're making a difference in people's life, whether they are able to tell you or not. Um, mm-hmm. It's that's how I'm wired. I'm wired to serve, not necessarily be in front, but mm-hmm. to, um, to just bless people where I can. Awesome. Yeah, we have always had a small staff. Um, this past year, we have hired six new people and so I mean our staff pretty much has doubled going into this new busy season so that'll Mm -hmm. that'll be kind of refreshing to not have so much on our shoulders that we have to juggle in our busy season so um, we are looking forward to that but yeah time management probably a huge Mm -hmm. uh, challenge for us just the hardest thing and when when things are going just smoothly and everything is just working really well every the team is is it's just doing a great job working together as a team and everything's going well what is kind of like what are some of the things that brings you bring you the most joy about this ministry about the ministry that you do well yeah again for me it is uh it is just serving people um knowing that You've made improvements in my in my on my area. Made improvements to the building or to the grounds, or yeah. you're just providing excellent service, um, yeah. and then allowing the leaders of the group to not be concerned about the little details. Um, mm-hmm. You know, just let us take care of that. We're happy to serve, and um, you know, we want your folks to go back to. You know their communities refreshed and with mm-hmm. more knowledge and a little more passion in their walk. So yeah. that, that's what that's what fills my tank. Awesome. It's also enjoyable to build relationships. We have people that come back year after mm-hmm. year. Um, some people come several times a year, and so mm-hmm. developing relationships with people and learning their names and asking them about their personal lives and you know and answers a prayer that God may have um, blessed them with. So that's super enjoyable. And also what I mentioned before, being able to see those in full-time ministry come and just be refreshed um, when they're weary. Sweet. That is, I bet it's very, very fulfilling to be able to see people 
leave just really refreshed and uh, and ready to to go. And that is definitely something that uh, makes an impact in the kingdom of God in so many different places, what, what you can do and what you provide. So again, thank you so much for sharing with us and for the important work that you do for the kingdom. And it's been a joy getting to know you a little bit more, getting to know what you do. And we love you guys. And we are so honored to be able to uh, partner with you. God bless you guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much.